Hey guys, it's Bennett. I'm back with another box of cheap wax. Uh, this box I picked up for $90 online. Um, at its peak, it was retailing for about $420. Uh, this is 2022-23 Topps Finest Flashback. This is the Champions League UEFA edition. Um, the price has fallen precipitously in this. You're not guaranteed anything in these boxes except for, as you see here, one jumbo card and one refractor parallel per box. However, there can be low numbered stuff in this. And the autograph checklist, even though they're hard to find, does include Cristiano Ronaldo, Lionel Messi, Ansu Fati, KDB, among others. So, as I have with the last couple of rips I've done, I've stuck the cheap wax, I've been rewarded with some big hits, and I'm hoping to keep that going here. So, without any further ado, let's get into this box of Top's Finest Flashback and see if we can't pull some kind of really big banger of some kind. We'll know it's a banger, well you will, at least, if you hear me get excited about it because I don't know anything about soccer. I know that Julian Alvarez is a uh, good rookie, so I guess if you're going to pull one of these jumbo cards, I don't know exactly what to do with it, but I'll figure it out. I guess that's the one you want to pull. Not sure what this is. Okay, so we'll put that to the side, but that's pretty cool. And then we'll get into the packs themselves. So Alvarez, uh, obviously, is a, is a rookie we're looking for here. Um... I'm not that sure whom, who else. I know his name, so he's got to be pretty good. I think he plays for, what is that, Manchester City. So if you're playing against, alongside guys like Erling Holland, you must be pretty good, right? Anyway, all right, so let's get into it. The box is, if I'm not mistaken, is 16 packs. There's five cards per pack. So we're going to get into it and see if we can't get lucky. And here we go. There's Kaka, unfortunate name for that guy. Buffoon, I'm not gonna know a lot of these names, so I'm not even gonna try it. Um, we're looking for anything with some color. Generally the top's finest, the reds I think are numbered to five, if we can find one of those. Obviously we're looking for an autograph. The auto checklist on the whole is pretty good. Uh, we know who that guy is, that's Kylian Mbappe. There's Luka Modric, I've heard of him. There's Ronaldo. And Gabriel Martinelli. Um, and we'll keep going. There, we're guaranteed one refractor, it said. So I guess we'll look for that. I'm assuming it's going to have a different look to it. I've never opened this product before for soccer, so I'm not entirely sure what I'm looking for. But hopefully, we'll know it when we see it. Um, while I'm opening this pack, since it's giving me a hard time, if you want to take this opportunity to uh, hit the like button, to uh, maybe subscribe to the channel if you haven't, drop a comment, let me know how you're doing. I'd love that. Uh, all right, we'll keep going. There's Kevin De Bruyne. And I don't know, that's upside down. Is that because... No. Just trying to see on the backs of these if it marks. I don't know where the refractor would be marked. Normally it's in like the top right corner or top left corner. We'll go through. It might be obvious. Like I said, I've never opened this product before for soccer, so I'm not sure. There's Erling Holland. We'll always sleeve those up, right? We'll always sleeve Holland up. That guy is a monster. Going to set every record. I'll we'll keep going through. Okay. So far, um, nothing big, nothing to write home about, but we're not even halfway through the box, and we played at the whistle on this channel, so we're going to keep going. Uh, there's Ronaldo. We'll put him to the side as well. And Diego Goncalves, whoever Diego Goncalves is. And along we chug. Uh, these packs... Jao Felix, Alfonso Davies, Christian Pulisic, and Fabio Carvalho. Huh, okay. Um, let me know in the comments if anybody out there besides me is kind of confused about the way that 
soccer does their thing. There are so many different leagues. There's, I know the Champions League is the top one, but I know there are other leagues within Europe that people, you know, will say, oh, they're just as good. And there's arguments I hear go on, but I can't really make any uh, heads or tails of it. This is Bruno Fernandez's finest. Don't know. Yeah, I mean, you know, so as a lay sort of soccer fan, I love the game with the exception of all the, you know, the flopping nonsense. But the game itself is a great game and I like to watch it and I get excited when the World Cup comes around. But I'm not a fan, you know, not a proper fan the way you should be. There's Bobby Clark. So I don't know. You know, for me, all these different leagues and even the way it works within the Champions League is confusing to me. That there are a bunch of lower leagues that are almost like the minors. And then the winner of that league below gets to move up, I think, or something along those lines. I don't know. I see. I, I every now and again I watch a uh, I watch a documentary that uh, you know to try to try to get some more information on it because I enjoy sports and I feel like I walk away from the documentary more confused than I was to start. I mean, I know Major League Soccer they're making a big, huge push in this country. You know, that Messi going to Miami. I just don't think it'll ever happen here, but, you know, they tried once in the 70s, it, it caught on for a little bit with Pele, and now with Messi, so I guess we'll we'll have to wait and see. Um, we're getting, we're like three quarters of the way through this box now, and from what I can see, we haven't hit much of anything, so <laughs> hopefully, hopefully we, we hit something here. Virgil van Dijk, there's Messi, again, uh, there's Vinny Jr., there's Trincao. I don't know which this refractor they're they're referring to. I'm not sure. It's not one of these guys, is it? It doesn't look like it. Um, I don't know. I guess the jumbo card was cool, Julian Alvarez, but there's supposed to be one of these refract. Oh, there's color. Just as I was babbling on, there's color. So let's see what that is. Let's see. Let's see what we have here. Can we see anything from the top? Oh, that is the name. So let's see the bottom. It is, doesn't look like a rookie. This is, no idea who that is. So that's not a good sign. This is 15 out of 15. That's good. Anybody ever heard of this guy? Ryan Gravenberch? 15 out of 15. I guess I'd rather that been a rookie or... I'm sure, listen, I'm sure if that's Messi or uh, or Ronaldo or Holland or any one of those guys, you know, that's probably a pretty big card. Uh, as a Ryan Graven somebody or other, not entirely sure, but we'll show him some respect until I look this up and see whether or not he deserves it. And we'll stick him in a card saver and we'll see what we can find out after I get done. All right, so... Three more packs left. Um, at this point, if that was our sort of one hit from the box, our guaranteed hit, then we're going to need something pretty special in the way of maybe an auto, I guess. There's Gavi to really kind of salvage this. I assume, because I don't know who that guy is, I could be wrong, and somebody could be screaming at the screen right now, don't you understand, you idiot, what you just hit, but... I don't. There's Antonio Silva. I'm going to have to go back, I'm sure, and sleeve up these uh, these rookies. I'll put them in pennies because I don't know what I'm doing. All right, this is the last pack in this box. Let's see what we got. It looks like we have no more color of any kind. and Nothing's backwards, so uh, this guy's the big Korean star. There's Alvarez again. That's the mini version of the big thing we just got and there's phil foden so we got you know sort of big and small on julian alvarez and we got uh messi ronaldo and holland and then our hit is this purple ryan gravenberch out of 15 15 out of 15 last on the print Anyway, that is 2022-23 uh, Top's Finest Flashback, UEFA. Uh, if anybody's ever heard of this guy, drop me a comment. Let me know. I'll look it up, see how we did. But my hunch uh, after doing this for a while is that this one was not as big a winner as our last couple of boxes. 
So um, we'll lick our wounds and move on to the next one. Till next time.